Hello. <clears throat> uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, um, because I have uh, currently like uh, at least three projects that I'm working on um, for fun. Um, and yeah, I want to push forward a little bit this one. Um, so it's not going to be Haskell today. It's going to be mostly C, I think, and a little bit of assembler. So what is this project? Well, this is, um, I don't know. It's kind of, it's not, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Uh, it's, um, one of those fantasy game consoles or fantasy computers. So, yeah, I've been playing with uh, compilers and things like that for a while, and and I thought, well, it could be interesting, and 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 without really realizing, I started working on it, uh, which is not quite true because I've been thinking about it quite some time now. So yeah, why not? So I'm working on my own fantasy console so initially I was looking at different CPUs uh, I mean I, I implemented a, a emulator of 6502 some time ago and I'm familiar with set 80 but you know I was looking at MIPS as well could be something interesting to do but at the end I don't know I mean I started doing a the virtual machine first and then and then I wrote an assembler and and now it has like you know a lot of different instructions and stuff. So I just doing something whatever I think is is fun. Um and yeah, I mean I'm I'm adding things to the to the assembler, but it's a little bit rough for now. Uh there's some things that are missing and so at the moment um i'm working on this example so there is a, there are a few things working um so you can actually compile this and it will work um so it's an 8-bit cpu with uh, only four registers which is a little bit limited really but um you know i did a, a mixture of sys502 um I added some indirect modes like in the set 80 and yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. So what I want to do today is, so this compiles and runs and the only thing it does is, um, so I always on top, there you go. So basically what this does is, um, so the, the 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 I don't know how you call it virtual machine okay, game console CPU I don't know the virtual machine has a frame interrupt. Um, so sixty times per second, it will look at the interrupt vector uh, in this address, get the address, and jump there. So, but that has a benefit because when we call, uh, we use hold somewhere here, here, hold. So when we hold, what it does is if the interrupts are enabled, the, the, the program stops until there is an interrupt. So, but I don't provide a default interrupt. So the first thing we do here is uh, we set up a an interrupt handler, which the only thing it does is return with uh, I read. We enable interrupts, and after that point, the only thing this does is uh, so the console has 16 colors for now, and I'm using the EGA palette because um, I still don't know what colors I'm going to use, or you know, that's fine. Um, when I'm drawing, I use some palettes that some people have made that are very nice, but yeah, for now I don't want to decide. So I'm using the Ega palette. So what it is, is doing is, um, 
So there is a, a function here, a routine here that is called fill. To basically what it does is um, this game console has a frame buffer. So it basically fills the frame buffer with the color we provide in the register in, in register B. Um, and and after doing that, we increment B, which is the color, and we wait for one second. So basically, we do 60 holds, which is, you know, if it's 60 times per second, then if we wait 60 times, that's a second. And that's what it's actually doing. And it's changing the color. Um, I mean, the assembler is kind of familiar. The only thing that is kind of weird, I guess, um, is the branching code. So the branching functions, what they do is if the condition is met, so in this case is branch if not zero. So the CPU has five, I think five flags. One of them is zero. So basically when we decrement uh, the X register, if it's zero, if it's not zero, this uh, function here, so this, uh, this instruction here, what it does is that um, it runs the next instruction. And if it's not true, then it just skips the function. So this is very similar to what you get, for example, in, in Celid, you can do jump, not zero, wait loop. So it's similar to that. The only difference is that because it it skips um it skips because it skips uh, the next instruction um, that has the benefit that you can do you can use any really which is weird I mean it looks weird because yeah it's not very it's not what you usually see in assembler but yeah I think it's it can be very fun really and also. It gives you um, some nice functionality, for example, when you are using, because the, the four registers are a bit, and using two of them like here, A and X, you can kind of build up a pseudo 16-bit register. And so, yeah, this gives a lot of, you know, it can be quite fun, I think. So that's the only thing that is slightly weird because this syntax it remains pretty much to 652 uh, so it's not it's not that that weird so okay um, let's look at adding um, adding support for loading images so currently I have three things. I have the virtual machine um, that is basically written in C89. Um, no, and the assembler is also C C89. And the only thing that I'm using C99 is for the virtual machine player because it's using SDL and otherwise it's kind of annoying but um so i have an assembler a virtual machine that you can run in text mode and then the player which is so when i do make example is what it's doing is it's assembling uh, example.asp then you get a binary file and then it's being run in the in the player which is uh sdl So yeah, what I want to do is in here, we have a few directives for the assembler. Uh, what is that? Here. So we have include, include binary, and I want to add one that is include uh, um, PNG perhaps. So, and add content to the output. Now, um, 
the image has to be must be so it needs to have a palette right and the palette and its size any size um the bullet can be any size why is oh. oh it's doing it already so this is a different paragraph it's because the font size is too big man so the image must be indexed and the palette can be any size but um yeah what i'm thinking is um any color over index 15 will be transparent and the image will be included with a mask so basically this is just a icy way of loading sprites uh, and i think it can be quite nice if the assembler supports that so okay so here we have adding instructions to the assembly is quite easy so so it's just adding one here include png i put them in, in order of length so in png and it's going to be similar to what to include bin right so it's going to be include PNG. Okay, so for now, let's parse the content and then we'll see how we're going to look. So following the same structure, so let's do the same. So include PNG. I mean, it has to be a PNG image. We don't really care about the extension. So basically, um, so when we put this in in this table, it means that we already parse the dot include PNG and ink PNG, right? So the next thing we're going to expect is a string, a quoted string. So basically, we just use this. So and that's it so word we have we will have the string of the file name now uh, we can check perhaps uh, if uh, if so word word minus what so it has to be well no we have len word len right so we can do word minus word len uh, minus four that has to be png if this is true it means that it's not a extension png so um, let's say here yeah. Import expected whatever. I mean, it's not really a PNG, and we still need to read the PNG and parse the content. So, okay, and if it works for now, let's say we got and um, and just bring that. Okay, so. So let's include a PNG. For example, here we can say it will be a sprite. So and we do this. So we do this. Run the example, and it's a word because expected the PNG file. Um, and if we put anything in PNG, because we are not doing anything with the file. Oh, it's not working. So I guess this is wrong. 
so oh sorry yeah yeah because pre previously I was going to use a uh, minus ln okay so we got that PNG that's PNG uh, which is not true uh, I think uh, in assets yeah we have icon yeah, I have an icon for testing okay so so the parsing is done um, now I think I'm going to use this library here that I've never used before so that's going to be part of the interesting thing today um, so let's get that and and include that so so what is the name uh stb image uh but i have no idea how to use it so this is going to be interesting um so Cool. So I guess do that. Do I want to include that? It will make compilation a little bit slower, right? Okay, let's try that. I think I probably want to put that in a different place, in a different file. Okay, and I only want PNG, so. I think there is some configuration here, mm -mm 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 -mm. like, okay, there you go, only PNG, you can request something like that, okay, so I guess that's using that define, right? To copy again because I just wait. Okay. Um. Yeah, I may need to change flags. So. <laughs> so I think I'm going to add a new file. So. Um, so it's STB and we can just do it here. So we can use different flags and I guess we can include this now. Well, we have to. So, and then when we make this we are going to make um, so stb image and well it's the same right no, no. so then flags are going to be different right so cc that's fine and we can just have the own flags. So S O2. And that's it. And then I probably want to change this because now it's kind of not good. Okay, we can do it. I mean it's pretty small, right? Uh, Why are those make those warnings coming from? Ah, well, that sucks. That sucks a little bit. So it really doesn't matter. The problem is this. 
Yeah, okay. Well, then it doesn't make any difference. Um, perhaps it can be faster to compile, I guess. Okay, so let's delete this one. Well, let's copy this first. Put it, no, this is DBM. Um, so the assembler. I mean, it will be easier if I read the documentation, isn't it? So, the assembler it also needs then... Maths library. Huh? In the fact, the bow is not in math. Maybe I need to do it. Something has changed in how GCC works over time. Like, why do I need to put the libraries now at the end? Confusing. Um, warning. Move to show the fine but no use. Yeah, I like that warning, so I'm going to leave it. Just kind of, kind of sucks to have that warning all the time. Um, let's take a look. Um, define before include to void using assert. Yeah, it's a good idea. Because I'm not using it, so I don't want that to be in the way. Um, define my clear your open speed or using my other your free. Do we care about that? Probably not. And actually, we don't care about this one either. Mm, okay. Do, 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 do. So, well, I think I have checked the license. But the license is basically fully domain or MAD. I, I don't want to use uh, SDL image, but if it just gets to too fiddly, I might even use it now. Mm. What else do I need to look at here? So, documentation. Basic usage. SDVI load, file name, X, Y, N. With height components per pixel. Uh, replace zero with one and four to force the many components per pixel. Cool. But n will always be the number that it would have been if you had said zero. And then at the end, three. Standard parameters output too much width in width in pixels. Image components uh, and the side chain is not zero. Image components requesting result. Okay. Uh, doesn't mean that I can ask that I want a indexed image. Okay, it's explaining here. The value is on sign char and signature points to the pixel data or null for an allocated value. The image is correct or invalid. 
the pixel differences of of y scan lines of x pixels Six pixel consisting of n interleaved a bit components first pixel pointer to is the most the image there's no padding between image scan lines or between pixels great regardless of format the number of components n is the side channels the side channel is non zero channel is infinite wise side channel is non zero mm -mm -mm. has the number of components that would have been output otherwise if you see the side channel is to four you will always get RGBA output, but you can change channels in file to see if it's trivially open. Um, okay. An output image within a comprehensive the following components uh, interleaved in this order. Number of components one is gray, two gray alpha. If image loading fails for any reason, the return value will be null. Hmm. So doesn't support. Oh, palette uh, are automatically the palette this. That's not cool. It's not great. What do we do with that? Because I need to know the colors in order. Hmm. Well, then I guess I don't care about palette. <clears throat> then I don't care about the palette. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, the image and colors will be palette and any color, any um, color will be will be considered it's not ideal but yeah because it means yeah mm, mm, mm. I mean it's not the end of the world I think I do that Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so basic usage. Let's copy this. So it was include uh, in PNG, right? So this is what we're going to use. And we need to be able to map the colors so um i think yeah i have with the machine uh, it's rgb okay so i have a macro here and these are the colors Hmm. It's going to be a little bit of pain, yes. To be honest, but so okay. I don't like it too much.
Nein, ist okay. Upsi. I mean, the other way of doing this is probably um, not caring at all about this. Oh man. Good work. Um, yeah, I guess uh, we could not care about this. And just, uh, you know, use external tool, convert the image to binary and include the binary. Yeah, but I think it's nice uh, being able to include the palette. Sorry, include the palette. Oh, because I'm reading palette. In include the, um, the images. I think it's going to be nice. So... So basically, it's going to be this. And we're going to ask for three components. If it, we don't get data in valid input, and just we can say that it's going to be the, the line of the error. Um, so that's one thing, um, and now now what we're going to do is similar to what we do with include binary. Mm. So first we need to check the size. Which is going to be the same we do here. Let's do We call this uh, so let's do this, ladies. Which is going to be so we don't need to repeat ourselves. Uh, yeah, because there is a return here. If there is no data, we don't get down. We assume there is nothing to free, right? So size is going to be x multiplied by y plus current address. If it's bigger than the memory we have, you know, it will flow in PNG. So, so if it's not the case, um, it's going to fit, right? So, um, so we're going to do for. Um, equals zero to the size of the image uh sorry less than this okay cool and because we have asked for igb we're going to have three components and what we're going to do is in the palette 
Let's get this out of the way while it is this haste. So we need to find the pallet. The okay, so okay, and for now we're going to do mask. Let's go. So um we're going to have IGB right so for zero we have sixteen colors in the pal in the palette. So if uh, data y equals to let j zero and uh, copy this. Yes, three. Uh, sorry, one, two, and we increment three here. So zero, two. Uh, if this is true, then uh, old press. Do we do it like that, or oh, is better what we? What we do here now is with this at the end, I think. Just increase that at the end. So, um, output address is going to be okay. Let's change this to be the index color. Right, that's correct. And otherwise, if we got to the end. Uh, okay, so if we do this, then we do want to break the inner loop, right? Um, okay, so we break the inner loop because we found the index. Right, and um, here, if index equals to sixteen, then uh, sorry, uh, increase address, and then address is going to be address. And if address is bigger than size, we increase the size. Boom, that's it. So this is map. Okay. So. We go through the existing colors and we compare every single RGB value. If we have a match, um, if we have a match, then <clears throat> we break the, the inner loop after we output the index. 
Ok. Mm, what do I do? Oh. What? Index. Oh, yeah. Actually, this can be an index like this because it's only 16 by. Okay. Oh. Oh, by name, yeah, because we copy the example, I copy the example, so it is word instead of by name. Okay. So... Ooh, so error 11. What does it mean? Hmm. Oh, because... Wait a minute. So... If we get to this point... Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know this this is, is this worth it really to do it like this? It's just this call and we're going to exit anyway. So it is 158 bytes. Mm, let's do it differently. Um, it differently because you really we really don't need any of this really we can do alt here and so it's going to be okay so 88 bytes is that true yeah it's true and this is the opcode for halt and this is the, the rest so i think 16 press 16 so it doesn't look like 88 bytes is correct does it Could be that they are is detecting transparent colors, right? Well, okay, transparent on. Like this. It's going to be this. Oh no. So there are no transparent colors. What?
I'm confused. Mm. I mean, we're asking for three, right? Sixteen by sixteen. Um. Oh, oh. Because we're asking for three components, right? So we're expecting two hundred and fifty-eight. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we got the sprite. Okay. Mm. So let's get all this out, all this back, sorry. Okay, um, do we want to do the filling? Mm. Maybe. So draw a sprite. Okay, we're gonna do it here. So we're going to draw into BF zero, maybe. Source is going to be uh, the high address of Sprite and the low address of a Sprite. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to copy sixteen. It's going to be a pain. That's why I want to add a filter. Okay. Wish. Um. So. Sixteen by sixteen. Oh man, I don't know how to do this. Which X? Which Y? Okay. So. Yeah, because it's not just copying the whole sprite. We need to do a rectangle. So it's it's going to be 16 and then we need to increase uh, A, then 16. Uh, okay, so I think we need to save so one of them has to be saved uh, because it has to be existing and we're going to loop a line right so decrement y job line um Oh, we need Y. No, let's go into the we. Uh, let's use X instead because what we're going to do here is load into X. Uh, no, Y. It's Y the one we want. So, okay. load into Y, M, B, Y. Can we do it like that? Oh my. 
So 16 is for the loop. No, I don't think we can do it like this. Not enough registers. Oh man, I had I had some code. I was doing this. No, I was not doing this. Okay. So let's do it in a in a different way. Let's use A and X as source. And y is going to be 16. Um, okay, so so we load a r x into x. That's it. Then. We need to save the arrival of the loop and then help. Yeah, but we I'm going to have the same problem. I need a local variable. So push X for example. Okay, let's use this as a local variable. So push Y, then SP zero Y. And we need to remember to fix the a local variable so yeah, okay so we have local variable in sp plus zero that is 16 cool so this is source destination it's going to be LDA EF LD Y is going to be zero. So we need to save only X. So we get source. And then we load into B, Y, X. Right? And we also increase Y. Fine, we can do it later. We can do it here. Increase Y. Uh, and we save it. Then reload y the now is sp plus one because we say y here. We decrement, we save it, and we pop the value. And if this decrement is not zero, we go to a line. It's going to do the same one. Oh dear. Um, okay. We also need to increment. Okay. So with this, now we do the push. Okay. Pop y. Now we need to do the increment first. So we also need to increment x. So. When we get here, we have added, we have done 16. So we need to subtract from Y. 
well no it's at zero because it's just and we increment b yeah but because this is not aligned mm, in b and if there is overflow then ink b so this yeah okay so increment yeah so so this ink x is fine because no it's not x is <clears throat> Yeah, because y is is uh, is aligned, so it's never going to go over a boundary. But the x can go because this is not aligned. Although we could be doing, we can use an org to pull it at the beginning of, of a page. Uh, 16, 256 uh, boundary, but we don't need to do that really <clears throat> because we can do this. So this increments x and, and a so the source is always forward and when we get to zero increment that okay so we have done one of 16 um, Now I'm wondering what is the what is the best way we can do this. We can put a label, right? This kind of terrible. And we can do um we can pair a with x small part of and sprite and oh, all this stuff yeah it's going to be terrible so So uh, branch is zero down because the high bar has to be the same, right? No, then it's A. And in next row, what we need to do is this again. So set up again sixteen. And then jump to jump to um to line. I mean, this is kind of like almost brain fuck, to be honest. Okay, it's not CB. It's not even the assembler that I wrote. Compare. It's not doing it. 
and it's stuck. So this is not working. <laughs> All right. So we know that we need to say B, and then call draw a sprite. Fine. So draw a sprite. We store a local variable. X. Oh, because it's not zero anymore. It's one. Isn't it? No, it's zero. So, yeah, we have local variable. And the value is, we put 16 on it. Then source is A and X. And we get the sprite data. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Destination is in BF. Zero. BF. Zero. Okay. That's where the frame buffer is. And we do a line. We save X because we're going to put in X AX and then copy that to be Y. Then we get back X. Then we increase it. If there's an overflow, then we increase A. Yeah, I think that's right. And then we increase Y, which is the line. Then we say Y because we're going to get the variable of the loop, which is a local variable. We decrement that, we save it. And we restore the value of Y. If this decrement is, is zero, go for it. If it's not zero, we do another line. If it's zero, then what we do is um, then we are going to prepare the destination again. That is this case we increment B because we move one row down and zero because we put it in the corner, right? Then we load the end of sprite. No, we compare end of sprite with X that we increase here. If it's not, then we prepare the next row. If it is, then we prepare compare the higher address of end of sprite with A. If it's equal, then we go to done. We release the local variable and we return. In order to prepare the next row, this is wrong. It's like this. We need to say y, then set on the start on the local variable, and then the line. Okay, we got the sprite. Not quite right. Uh, the, I increase in destination twice. What? I don't get it. So increase B? I only increase in, increase in B once. Hmm? I don't increase B. It's all in the same line, of course. What is going on? Um, it's not right. That's not right. Mm, wait a minute. Could it be that I'm skipping lines? Could be that I'm skipping that. No, I'm not sure. So, um, it could be that this is wrong. I don't see why.
because when we do the next row, um, destination BF, uh, so increase, uh, is that right? Oh no, that's not right. Because it's 128, so we don't increase B all the time. Only half of the times. <laughs> um, um, how do we do that? didn't think about that because it's 128 per 128 so that means that okay let's let's check that so okay we're going to set y here so um we can we can what? What do we know? I mean, the only thing I can think of is that we we count the row. No. So instead of increasing increasing B, what we do is. No, we, uh, okay, okay, okay. So why we are at 128 minus 16, then if there is overflow, we increase speed. All right. Okay. Ah, that's the sprite. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not, not enough. Uh, there are not enough registers, I think. So, uh, no, but then with this, I can do it in, in any place now, because I could, I could be doing, for example, um so so i could be doing 56 here and and that will put in the center so it's not too bad now moving down it's going to be complicated because if I want to move it 56 it's going to be so no that's not working that's not going to be like that um, well I guess it is okay so is uh, BF Zero zero plus this So that is DB Okay, so I think that's fine. Um, okay, so this is without mask. Okay, I think I can keep this. Um, Mm, 
yeah, had to change to C99. Not a big fan, but it's okay. So, include PNG. Yeah, the mutation is not quite right because there is no mask as well yet. Yeah. This is kind of a lot of code um, to do this, but let's go for it for now. Let's go with it. Then, they include in there. Okay, let's make some comment mm. in here. We can say is fine we don't need to see that we don't need to see this again we don't need to see this again um wait a minute it's not showing the comment oh shit i don't, i hate when i made this mistake yeah, it's because I I didn't notice that I was using the buffer from. So that's fine. Then um, the parse is kind of trivial. We get the stream, blah blah blah. I mean, it's not great. So what is the one I'm looking for? Yeah. So this is fine. Then. So, for the mask, uh, I'm not completely sure how I'm going to implement the mask, but I guess um, let's open that and try to see how can we. What is this, by the way? I guess I can do. So here we could, well I don't need to use index it anymore, right? 
because I was using this palette here, but we don't care anymore. So I can get any color I want for transparent. This one is not part of the hello palette. Is it? Well, it's close. Damn it. Let's use something like. I don't know. One color that is not in the hello palette. 100% sure. I mean, I usually go with a. Uh, and most black like this one so we can do this no just for testing so I'm not completely sure it's doing anything with it not part of the palette is it so what we're doing here is that if it doesn't find it we don't draw anything right just not the same as applying a mask is it No, this is all wrong. It is all wrong. We need to include a color. Um, we need to include a color. Well, if we put black, it's not going to be really, we're not going to see anything, but let's get something. Okay, so that is working. Uh, we can make it zero, but then I don't think we can do it like this. Um, I don't think we can do it like this because we need to check if we need to include the, the mask first because we need to include, uh, so it's going to be two bytes, one for the mask. So we need to know beforehand if we're going to include a mask. Um, and then we need to include byte of mask, byte of bitmap, mask, bitmap. So we can do the, you know, the apply the mask. So it is in fact transparent by by not drawing really so okay but we can skip because if we skip and we increase the address uh, what we are actually doing is in fact using whatever is the value that we had in that memory address which happens to be zero so it has to be like this So any Okay, um, one thing I'm noticing and I don't like uh, is that compilation is definitely slower. 
So... I'm going to... Add this here. Although we still have the problem of... That is better. Even if we have a limitation. So... And a single image. It's 99. We still need to keep it, so who cares? But and then the assembler depends on std image O. And <laughs> before I added it in the wrong place, by the way. Okay. So it has to compile once, but that's it. So yeah, it's faster. Cool. It's using zero now. Fine. Um Okay, cool. Yeah, I think this is this is looking good. Um, yeah, I mean, looking at what I had to write here, I mean, on top of the, that, I'm a little bit rusty writing assembler. It's a new assembler. I never written anything significant with this. Um, and they are not in auto registers. I mean, they are for for simple things it's going to be probably okay but in this case i mean we have in re in reality we need two two addresses so that's two 16 bit registers so it means that to have two 16 bit register i need to use all four 8 bit registers and on top of that um i need to track at least one loop no it's two loops but i i kind of make i'm cheating because i know what is the end of the sprite so instead of you know looping 16 uh, pixels in horizontal and, and 16 in, in vertical what i'm doing is Checking that I got to the end of the sprite. Which is kind of saving me a counter. Yeah, but having to, I mean, using a local variable is fine. Yeah, but you need to get used to this. And I'm not used to it, so that's why it feels a little bit awful. Um, yeah, I mean, with the mask. I mean, we can implement, I mean, we could, so assuming that zero, zero is, is, is going to be transparent, for example, what we can do is, yeah, but it's going to be exactly the same problem because we get X, right? So, uh, So, if it's not zero, it's not transparent. If it's zero, sorry, not the other way. If it's zero, it's transparent. 
and we don't copy it. Is that right? Is that enough? Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Huh? I'm confused. Uh, okay. What? Oh, man, I'm not even writing the, the assembly. Oh. Well, it's kind of funny that it compiles, but... Cool. So... I mean, it's changing the color, but it's changing the color because it's drawing, it's filling the frame buffer with pixels. So it's painting really. And on top of that, we put in the, the sprite. So with this, we can set one color to be transparent. Is that a mask though? No, because that's just saying that one color is transparent, right? I can't have black by doing this. So I guess if I have the mask, I need to think how I'm going to do it. But it could be just as matter of starting to bytes. Uh, and that's it. Is that it? I mean, usually when you apply a mask, the mask is inverted. So for each pixel that is a mask, you apply an AND. So you basically erase the background and then you apply the OR of the other, uh, the pixel you want to put on top of the mask. But I don't think I need mask here because it's one, I'm using one byte per pixel. So, I think it's just not drawing. Yeah, anyway. Um, I mean, this seems to be... Okay, fast enough. So, maybe. I don't know, I will have to change this uh, routine to support parameters, so we could be putting a lot of sprites. But I guess um, we can draw it a lot of times, right? And it's never going to make a difference because we're waiting a second. Well, we can do something. We can do, we can do this. Draw the spray once and hold. So that is uh, 4,257 instructions. So at the moment, uh, at the moment, uh, I think I went with, I'm still thinking, but if it's a million instru instructions per second, that means, I think I put it somewhere here. So this is the number of instructions uh, that fit in a frame. So one, three, 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 right? So, Four to fifty-seven. So that's I could draw thirty-one sprites if I was only drawing sprites. Hmm. In a frame, so that would be a sixty hertz, which means that if I go with thirty frames per second, it would be sixty sprites, which is a lot. I think so it's not too bad I mean because I'm using a I'm pretending that the CPU is very very fast um, 
the other option is probably what I was trying to do as well today, but I think I'm not going to do it now because it's a little bit late. But I was one day I was playing with the idea of having a blitter, and that will also help with the number of registers because we could be defining a port for that. Okay, so let's pretend. So looking at, at at this draw sprite, what we could be doing is uh, we could be doing. I don't remember how a part works right now, but so okay, it needs two registers. Okay, so we could be doing, uh, for example, um, I don't know. We could be saying a zero. So this could be enable um so so blit set up right um and then in x we can okay no so this is the port. So it will be blitter control. And here we say, you know, one or whatever we can say we set up, set up. So you can do port AX. So, and then we can say whatever, right? Because we can say, okay, so we're going to copy from, you know, we're going to copy from whatever the um, sprite. We could be saying first. No WordPress for a X. Well, it probably um, so glitter control, then ready configure, then ink a which is then so then we pass. The sprite we want to copy like this and you know a number of rights so we say in the address we want to copy and then we can say the size 16 So 16 by 16, right? And then we can say destination. So it could be PF, for example, zero, which is the corner, or we could be seeing DB 56, what was that? I don't remember so db56 right to center it on the screen um so and that will be so first the source address then size of the rectangle and then for example or even not destination address it, we could be saying x and y right because we can do whatever we want so for the sprite source and size of the rectangle is fine 
because it's really yeah it's fine it's something like this i mean we just giving ideas right so then back to control and then we say right this we will do a sprite now so this is theoretically because this is just something I just made up right I don't even know if this makes any sense what we can do here is see how much what is the difference um, so we knew it was this um, okay so that's 19 so that's 19 instructions uh, to use a bleeder so 19 instructions and this is going to go in in the virtual machine uh, somewhere in here so basically we can we have a function here for port and we can look at the input values and keep a state and basically when we do the write we can do the, the for loop in C which is native code and is the equivalent of implementing things in hardware, right? So that blip will be super quick. Um, in, and if I do this, if I have a blitter, then it's probably not necessary to support uh, 8 million instructions per, per second. Um, and I can make an 8-bit CPU that is a little bit more realistic, I guess. I mean, it's still limited. It's going to be interesting to be able to write code with so little amount of, you know, or registers and stuff. But cool. Well, that was different. It's not the same thing I've been doing lately, but yeah, interesting. I will keep doing. Uh, I will keep going with this. I still need to give it a help to the bleeder. Um, how I'm going to implement that and see how I'm going to implement the masks. Um, yeah, but this is kind of what I wanted to do today. Anyway, cool. Well, see you next time. Bye 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 bye.